so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on what is in my makeup bag. So if you'd like to go ahead and see what I have in my makeup bag, bear in mind this is my everyday makeup. This is makeup that I wear every single day on a daily basis. Yeah, so if you'd like to go ahead and see what's in my bag, then just keep on watching. My bag is from Victoria's Secret and I did get it on sale at the semi-annual sale. I think I only paid like $20 and originally it was $40, 40 or $50 so I got it pretty much half off. So this is what it looks like. It is pink and it is textured and it's like a faux like animal skin pattern on there. Just kind of reaching in. The first thing that I do have in here is my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Um, this is the palette that I have been using every single day. So I just go ahead and carry this with me at all times. Next I have my uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Setting Spray. I have a NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. I also have my NYX Illuminator. I have four Five. I have five Real Techniques brushes in here. So this one is the one that I use for my um, foundation. I use this one to uh, blend out my contour. I use this one to uh, map out my contour for like sharp lines. This is my highlight brush and I wish this one was a little bit bigger because I feel like I don't get very much like product when I do my highlight. And then finally my all over face powder brush. I have in here, which shouldn't really even be in here because there's like nothing left, I have my e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. I just use that to spot clean my brushes if I'm going to be changing colors or anything like that. I have my Maybelline Master Contour Palette in here. And as you can see, I've hit pan on the contour. I've got my Real Techniques Beauty Blender in here as well. My poor Beauty Blender, last time I cleaned it, it like broke. So I need to get a new one of those. I have in here a e.l.f. Um, I think it's a shadow brush, but I use it to um, put my eyebrows on. I have a Benefit Dandelion Blush. I have two foundations in here. It really just kind of depends on what I'm feeling for the day. So I have uh, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Rose Ivory. And then I have my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Makeup in light neutral. I have my eyeshadow brushes in here as well. I've got an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, a eye crease brush, and a blending eye brush. And then I have my MAC 224, which is my fluffy blending brush, which I use to, you know, buff out all my colors and make sure all the lines are nice and crisp. I have two um, mascaras in here. I have the Max Wet n Wild Volume Waterproof Hydro Fuse Mascara, and this is actually empty, so I need to throw this away. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara, and I just found out that they actually have a big size of this, so I'm definitely going to be picking that up later on. Next, I do have my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Powder Duo in the color Soft Brown. And I've actually uh, sort of started hitting a pan on the lighter side. I have a NYX Studio Liquid Liner in the color Extreme Purple. And then I have my Tried and True Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Sand. I've got my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyes. I have my NYX Shine Killer Primer. I've got two liquid cat suits in the colors Nudie Patootie and Pink Really Hard. So these are what they look like. I've got my old Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow definer in here in the color Ebony. And I just honestly just use it for the spoolie because I don't have a spoolie. I have two eyeliners in here. I have the Flower Liquid Eyeliner and the Tarte Sex Kitten. And last but not least, I have my e.l.f. eyelash curler. Alright, that is going to be it for today's video. As you can see, my bag is empty. There is, there's nothing in there. I have completely cleaned it out and now I can kind of reorganize or shove everything back in. I haven't quite decided what I'm doing yet. But if you have any 
questions at all about anything that I have in my bag, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. I'd love to chat with you down there. Otherwise, if you liked the video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you next week for my next video. Bye.